Okay, once again, my name is Dr. Osaze Joshua Baseki Osewege. I will be expecting our next um, guest, speaker, uh, the person of Mr. Emmanuel Avese is going to show us practically how to do CPR. However, it is practical because he's going to be demonstrating it, but we still advise that you get somewhere to lay your hands on one, and we are making an arrangement for that anyway nationwide so that um, everybody can have an opportunity to do a practical practice or how to do CPR. Yes, and because CPR, basic life support, is one of the hottest things you need to know now. Yes, no matter where you work, it makes a lot of difference, especially when you have a certificate for it and you've done your practical hands-on training on it. But before we go into that, let me go into the my own section of this evening's program. I'm going to show you how to take courses from two United Nations sites, uh, UNICEF and um, WHO. It's going to be, I'm going to be very brief, straight to the point. But don't worry, you're also going to get videos to watch. The whole thing lies on you now to just take your time and do that. And I want to see that this night and tomorrow morning, people will start sending in their certificates. OK. And the other one I'm going to show you is how to do a course with them. Um, Debbie University to get a certificate, a CPD accredited certificate for that matter, also for free. So the essence is that you can add all this to your certificate. You can add all this to your mental health, public health, caregiver certificate. Yes, somebody is asking if this is for mental health awareness. I said this for level two, level three, mental health, public health, and caregivers. Uh, course participant. So you are very free to join. Please, if you can hear me, just type yes. Type yes if you can hear me, please. So if you can't hear me, then the audio should be, the issue with the audio should be from your end. I think I'm trying my best to make sure everybody hears me. Okay. So let's go straight to business of the day. I hope uh, the network will be good enough because it's raining seriously here where I am, but no problem, we'll give it a try. So the first one we'll be looking at is Agora UNICEF. Agora UNICEF. Agora UNICEF is the arm of uh, the training arm of UNICEF that they use in issue, giving out free trainings to people worldwide, their staff and others outside their catchment area. So you, you can come in as a guest and register here as a guest. I clicked on register. Let me go back. Yes. Once you log in, I'm going to give you the website. So don't worry about that. I will send it to your WhatsApp group so that you can watch. Go through it. Now, as soon as you click, please, before you just go to register, take your time to scout through the website, familiarize yourself with the website, and understand what it's all about, strictly for training. As a new user, you just click on register, and you come here and then um, Put in your details. Please remember to click here to add additional details and all this. Then you click create my account. It's very simple. I don't need to go through that again. I think I still have. A... Remember, if you are logging in, you log in as a guest or partner. So log in. I have an account here. So this is my account that's opened. So if you log into your account with the details you use in creating it, you just go straight and type any course. Let's say mental health. So courses come out. So okay, these are the courses available. Public health reporting, violence by parents as a negative impact on children children's mental health. 
health economics, protection to children's environmental health, environmental and public health in humanitarian context, and all this. You see? So these are courses you can take. And there are so many other courses, so many, so many. And, you know? See, they are in their thousands. You can't just, I will advise that before you come here, make up your mind what you want to do. So you can also search for other courses. You can search for courses by topic, by format, if it's a blended learning channel and all that, provider. See, these are the organizations providing UNICEF. One is even with UN and UN agencies training on OPV switch. Okay, then you can come here, language, if you want to study in French, and all that. Competence level is referring to how complex the course could be here. We don't have any of such. So once you finish your training and you are true, usually this is what you'll find here. This is a course, and once you finish, you see the levels you've completed for each course. Yeah. It's as simple as ABC. So once you are true, you just go to the end of the course you are taking and get your certificate. You don't need to pay a dime. It's totally free. Okay. Wow. Okay. Henry Uche, what is the problem? You are looking as if what this man is saying, is it really true or is joking? And Henry Uche. <laughs> Can you hear me? Some persons are saying they can't hear. Eh? Though we are recording this program anyway, so you don't have a problem. But it's good you hear me. Say the video is breaking. Yeah, the network is bad, it's raining. But don't worry. Don't worry. Please, if you can hear me, just type yes. Okay. For the sake of others, I will try to repeat what I just said. What I just said was that you can do courses with UNICEF and for free. You are not paying a dime for it. And this is what I showed you. You go to their site. I'm going to send a link to the WhatsApp group. Okay, this is their site, Agora. Now, uh, like I told you, you have to create your account first. Any site you go to for the first time, you must create an account. Yes, you have to create an account. Then if you are coming in subsequently, you just log in. So here you register. Some sites you say register, some say create account, some say sign up. They are all the same thing if you are coming for the first time. Put in your details, make sure you don't miss out anyone and click create my account. When you click create my account, an email will be sent to you, verify or do that. Then you come back to login. After creating your account, go to login. You log in as a guest or partner, not as a staff. Then you come here, click on it. And this is what it will show you. I've already created my account, so it's showing me this. I saved it on my laptop. So this is a course I chose before. These are courses I've chosen. I've not completed anyone, just for demonstration purposes. So I want to choose a course on maybe gender, Violence. Just type the course in the search button and you see several options coming up. Gender-based violence core concepts, gender-based violence in emergencies, and all that. Yeah. You see. These courses are there. And if you can take any one, for instance, if I take this. I want to learn more, click on it. 
Okay, see, I've already enrolled on this. So if I click here, this is for that take me to the class. These are the each module. Once you click on any module, you complete it. At the end of each module, and you must complete all before you come to this point where you see course evaluation and certificate of completion. Okay? And anytime you come to your to this site, you log in, you will see all the courses you've selected here and your progress, whether you are 50%, 100%, or whatever. You see everything there. So that is that for UNICEF. And please, you are not paying a dime for anything. It's totally free. Take advantage of it. That is one of the essence of doing training with Laplace. We don't just end up giving you courses. You take courses. We try to make you start seeing things from a wider perspective, globalized thinking and globalized studies. So when you are presenting your certificate to any employer, a school, or anywhere, they will know you've read why not just only with Laplace, with some United Nations agencies, and even a university, as we're going to see soon. Thank you. Okay. Have I made progress? Chibuzo Na Dozier. Any problem? Are you okay? Are you following? Okay, you'll get the recorded uh, version so that you can take your time to also read and watch again. Augustine Osas, please, you are not properly dressed. You need to put on your shirt or whatever. Please, we are right in, in front of 235 persons from different countries. We should look like Imam ABD Akim. You can see the way she, he is sitting right in front of his camera, well dressed. She also look like Wiza Basi. See, look like myself. Look like Chizoba Ndukwe. Look like um, Chibuzo Nadozie. Look like Bidemi. Uh, I've called your name now. You have been moving so that I can call you. Now I've called your name. Look like Bidemi Oguni. Okay. Please, let's dress like that. That is how we are supposed to appear. Okay, also look like Dr. Aduba Nicholas. Okay, I want to believe we've made progress with this. Don't worry, when you watch the video, I'm going to send twice, thrice, you'll be shocked. You, you will do courses and you'll be tired, you know? Just, just make sure you stick to Laplace. And very soon we'll be sending you jobs that match most of these courses that are from UN so you can apply. You don't need to fall prey to uh, scammers and whatever. Okay, so can we move ahead? If you want us to move ahead to WHO, please just say yes. Okay, the yeah, I have it. Okay, let me just take two questions in case you have questions. Yes, if you have questions, raise up your hand. Titus Chinieri. Do you have any question? Okay, no, no. Okay, okay. Anthony Ayero, do you have any question? Just your, your question should just be 30 seconds. Anthony Ayero. Uh yeah, thank you. I'm sorry I may not be able to come up on video right now. No problem. Go ahead. There I am, okay. Right. One of the questions, you said we're going to get uh, the recorded uh, sound to replay, right? Yeah. So I want to know if you go send that as a link to the WhatsApp uh, page. That's one of my questions. If you, if you can do that, the link to replay the recorded uh, video of this section. One, and... Um, um this uh certificate because i saw on the whatsapp page yesterday that there was going to be a test or something before the certificate i think i really do not understand the way the information can be disseminated if it could be more accurate so that we can be precise to know what we're doing right okay now um first of all we are going to send the link for this 
uh, recorded session to the class. There's going to be a link that you click on and watch the video over and over many times that's possible until you are okay. Then um, there's also going to be a test that is going to be centered around what you did in the class level two. We, we left it open till this time so that you have enough time to read because most persons here are busy persons. So you don't have any reason why you fail any of this course so you have enough time to read. We will give you the test link to take. We'll still give you some days to take your tests. And but for this one, this is just like an added, um, is it added advantage or what? But we just see it as an add-on that now, apart from the level two you are doing, you are going to write your test, you are going to get your certificate from tomorrow. That is, by the way. This other one we are showing you now is always there. It's always there. You can take it anytime. Yes. Since it's there, after your level two, you can just take it. And I know some persons will even start taking it this night. Yes, they will take as, as many as possible. So it is totally different from what Laplace is doing. These are beautiful information, lovely information, and useful information that we say, look, we can't keep to keep this to ourselves. Let's share with others. Let's share with you so that you, you have a CV that is going to be very broad, wide, and uh, very versatile, apart from the knowledge you are going to get. Yeah, thank you. I'm not addressing, addressing only level two, please. This program has been mentioned several times to be for level two and level three. Yes, okay. And this program is actually open to anybody, not only level two, level three, but it's specifically for level two and level three. I want you to get this added to this education we're going to get from Laplace. Okay, um, I think I must have answered this question. This, I can take only one more, just one more. Um, let me see. Olaji Day. Yes, I'm here. Good evening. Okay. You want to ask your question? Yeah, good evening, sir. My question will really have to do with um the um this Agora stuff that you just gave us. I believe the website will be also written out for us to of course, of course. I made sure that I'm going to send you the website. Okay, then um, for the test, is it an open test or as you talk, we type? I don't understand. You mean for the one in the, for caregivers or level two or level three? Uh, for, yes, for caregivers level two. Of course, you'll be given a link. You click on it and you do your OBJ tests. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that would be, the, the link will be in our web, uh, in our WhatsApp, WhatsApp group. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry about that. Okay, okay, it's thank so you. It's so simple then. that anybody can do it. In fact, I can see that you've even passed already from the way you are talking. Mm, uh, thank you, sir. Thank okay. You, sir. <laughs> okay, let's move ahead so that we can be done. This, this has been recorded. Let's go on to WHO. Okay, this is Open Who. We call it Open Who or WHO, openwho.org. And millions of people don't even know these things exist, but you need to know. And for those of you that know already, well, it's just a reminder for you. Uh, here you can do a lot of courses too. And let's see some of these courses here. Please, like I keep advising, Make up your mind what you want to choose or what you want to do. Otherwise, you will come here, you spend one full week looking for courses and selecting and dropping, selecting and dropping without doing anyone, okay? These are courses that are good for you. Monitoring evaluation of national action plans, mainstreaming of gender equality, so many courses. You can also type the name of the course you want to do and they'll commit you. Take your time to search. 
And once again, these certificates are totally free. I've done courses here, several courses. Uh, I didn't pay a dime, and you are not going to pay a dime for it. Now, if you say login, if you, like I told you, you must create an account on any of these sites. But because you are new, please, you click here to say login, and you put in all your details. Very simple and register. You might be sent an email to verify your account. Please check your email, verify, and come back and click on login. Very simple. And when logging, like I'm logging in now because I've already created an account with them. You see courses here. I think these are the courses I've selected. I don't know if I've finished them or not. Yes, it, um, selected these courses. And you can also come and select your course. The moment you sign in, so you can see your certificate, your achievements, your settings and everything. They're all here waiting for you. So nothing can be as beautiful as this to know that you can actually do a course with United Nations uh, agencies like WHO and UNICEF and get the certificate directly from there. Tie that to whatever you're doing now. Okay. Let me click here. I don't think I have any certificates. Uh, let me see. Do I have any? Okay, yeah. I have, I have, um, I have to shorten my name. You know, we, we like putting our complete names so that anything will come in. We don't want to miss out on anything. So, but as you can see, this is um, my certificate. I did this 2020, so about four years ago. Okay. So I'm not just telling you this because I want to tell you, I'm telling you because it will help you actually in your pursuit. I did mine four years ago. And I'm just showing you now, so you should know that I've been online for the past 20 years doing courses, running courses, and helping people. So I feel happy making people see things that are somehow obscured, but not hidden. So I think with this one, you should be able to happily make your way through and get courses. So imagine you have course certificates from WHO, you have certificates from UNICEF, and now you're going to have a certificate from Debbie University. I mean, you are good to go. Then you have one Laplace, which is more like a practical face-to-face -face class, even though it's online. Okay? Okay. Welcome back. Um, how do you feel? Do you like what you just saw? If you like what you saw, just type yes. Let me know that um, some persons are following. Like what you saw, just type yes. One for Augustina. You complain about the audio and nothing is being done. There's nothing we can do. Just put off your audio and put it put put it on again. Maybe it might just work. It's from your end, then eh? please. Okay. Okay. So um, I'm going to take just two questions and um, we'll go to the university because I want us to leave here as early as possible. Yeah, okay. Smart things, smart things. What's your question, please? 30 seconds. Are you there, smart teens? Okay, you're not there. Um, Anthony Ayero. Your question, please. All right, thank you. Uh, yes. it, mine is not just uh, more like a question. 
the way, thank you very much for this uh, eye opener. I've been working in the health sector. Truly, I can tell that I've not been aware of some of this uh, stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Um, what I really wanted to ask is um, this um, um, the registration, like yeah. the way you were running it, flipping it just now. Mm -hmm. If it's possible for you to put some of uh, the step to attaining this, I mean, the step to attaining this registration. I don't know if you get what I mean. Like, I, if you can give us the step in write up and paste on the WhatsApp for us also, the steps to which we can attain some of this registration and some of the courses that are available on this site. If you can just give us some uh, uh, content of these courses. And based on the WhatsApp also, so no, that's on our own. That, that, that will not be possible because, um, sorry to say, but I don't know how else to say it, but it's like I'll be over simplifying the, I mean, I'll be overworking myself on it. What you just need is the website. Once you click on the website, the site opens. Now, you cannot do anything on any site, any site in the world without registering first. You must create an account. I told you. Yeah, so. I know. I'm not saying that we're not going to create accounts. I know we, we're creating our accounts and all of that. What I'm saying is maybe you just put some content. Uh, there's meta health, there's this, there's that. No, no, because no. you were saying. Sir, sir, please just allow me land. I think I've done all that already. For WHO, I've told you type the name of the course you want to do. There are thousands of courses I cannot even start. If that is the biggest mistake I will make to go and start searching for any course. I just did one for UNICEF. UNICEF also have thousands of courses. So you might want something on gender. Somebody else might want something on, on um, child protection. Somebody else might want something on something else. So it's just for you to just go, and, like I keep saying, decide what you want and type the name of the title of the course you want it. And similar courses will come up and choose what you want. And for the registration, once you click on register, like I've told you already, I've given you the blueprint already any site in the world, just click on register or sign up or create account, whichever, they are all the same thing. And you see, let me show you one. Let me sign out here. It's not really, I think maybe you need to give it a try then. Okay. For instance here, it says login. I can't log in if I don't have an account. So I'll create a new account. It's common with every website. So when they say create a new account, someone will ask for your email, password, and whatever. That's all. So we ask for more information. So but the most important thing is that you are the owner, you are the owner of your particulars. Whatever they ask for are things you should be able to provide. And I don't think they will ask for things you can't provide. Email, phone number, phone names, location. These are simple things they will ask. And you just put them in. Like here, they ask for my email. It's just for me to, for my email, I put my name here. See? I put my name. The next thing is my email. Put my email or whatever email I want to put. Password, I choose a password I want. And make sure the password, I repeat it to make sure it matches with the first one. And I click register. This is just how many steps, one, two, three, four, just four. So I don't think uh, these are things that one needs to start tabulating. And, uh, and moreover, like I said, there's already going to be a video for you to watch. If it's uh, a coding kind of thing, I would have done that. Very, very simple. Okay, thank you very much. I want to believe I've sorted out that. Um, bless you. I, 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 what? Yeah, good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, God bless you, sir. I just want to appreciate you and also use this medium to encourage others. The last uh, Zoom we did, I think around, around February, I can't remember, you gave us how to go about the links in um, World Health Organization and the uh, Debbie University. Yeah. I'm, glad, yeah. I'm glad to tell you that I've gotten nothing less than 11 certificates so far. Wow. I, I yes, I have I, I have over eight certificates from a World Health Organization. Mm -hmm. Then I went to do that of um Debbie University. I'm on the measures. I've gotten one certificate so far. Mm -hmm. So I just want to appreciate you. I'm really, really happy. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Yes, okay. You see, that's uh, someone that did in February. I can't even remember that. So the links are going to be sent to you. Don't worry. Um, before you even think about it, I've solved the problem already. If um, you are not paying for this, yes, I just decided to do it for you. And anytime I see better opportunities and more like this, I will send it your way. And that's why we have a forum where everybody come to stay together. Okay. Let me just take one more question, then we can move on to Debbie. Um, Iwu Uche, Henry. Let's make our questions very brief so that we can cover more ground. Yes. I will start by appreciating you for this class. Thank you, sir. Um, my question is this. In line with... Uh, um, what you said with regards to having courses with a World Health Organization, you yes. talked about starting a course and finishing a course. Mm. So what I would like to know is, is there anything that could limit or prevent one from finishing a program he started? No, not at all. You know, it's an online course, so you might just be a very busy person. You just take your time. Like, you, you see the one I showed you? Some of them have not been finished. Only six or seven. I just registered not as if I actually wanted to take them, but they've been there like that. So you will see your record there that you've not finished it. Every time you are ready, you come and finish it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. U Techno BFCs. I can see that uh, you are very, very... Come with yourself, Techno. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Yeah, this is Chaplain Dr. Daniel Abalog. Okay. Uh, yesterday, I want to thank you for what you have done for me. Thank you. I cannot uh, explain it much. At least I know what you have done. So, but yesterday, mm. we are supposed to take the LO3 uh, public health tests. Yes. Although it came one hour late, mm. by nine, it's supposed to have been by eight. PM, but it came by nine. Yes. So we will uh, attach the the supervisor evaluation form. Yes. But I've not been able to send mine up to now. Why? Uh, the the printer is still telling me only admin can send message. So uh, you, know, you know the test you you took. There is a place for you to attach your form. Form is attached already. So if it's attached and you have sent it already, there's no problem. It's okay. Okay, it goes automatically immediately. The form is attached. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have to move ahead. I can see that uh, Imam APG Hakim. He's telling me, go ahead, please. Enough of the questions. <laughs> okay, let me let me go ahead and then uh, I'll make some progress. We'll go to Debbie University. This night I'm going to give you the three links. This very night. So don't worry. Debbie. So when you click on the link I'm going to send, this is what you are going to find. You might just use your phone or use your laptop or whatever. So but like I said, this one, I don't think you even really need to create that. Okay, let's just take a course, bridging the dementia divide, very important course. You, you now click on book now, you have to book. This is it, it's free, you have 12 CPD points, 12. It's open, self-guided, two hours per week for six weeks online course description so you can check out the details about the course and all the things you need to know. These are the topics you need to complete. This is just all you need. I don't need to go beyond this. This is all those you need. Once you book, please, let's also make time, make out time to 
experiment, search, research things for ourselves because you are not paying for this. So whatever, wherever you get stuck, you just go back again and come back and check. So because whatever you're going to put here, very likely is going to be on your certificate. So you put your name, your surname and email and click I accept. I would like the investor David to contact me with results and services. And click submit and that's all. That's all. That's all. So um, I want you to know that good things are not always expensive. Yes, they are not always expensive. Your fresh air is totally free. You can imagine if you don't have air to breathe, you are a gonna. It is free of charge. So, yeah, okay. I don't know if this has made a lot of sense to you. If you are happy, I want to hear from you. Just two, three persons, three questions and three persons. Let me hear your view. Are you happy with this program this night? What you are hearing, what you are seeing? I'm going to send you the link this night, and I want to believe that you start getting your certificates this night. You will do your level two and your level three. I mean, especially your level two test this night. Start getting your certificates from tomorrow. Hillary Bierpitz, what? Yeah, you have a question to ask. Unmute yourself, please. Okay. Sorry. Good okay. evening, sir. Good evening. Okay, thank you very much for so far. Um, what I wanted to ask is concerning you telling us about us getting our certificates by tomorrow. Um, is the is the link available already for us to take up the exam, the final exam? Yeah, you are going to get it. You, are you talking about level three or level two? Level two. Level yeah, two. You are going to get the link tonight after this Zoom. In the WhatsApp groups, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Genevieve Ndejiwe. What's the question? Unmute yourself, Genevieve. Yeah, good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, so I would like to really thank you for your time tonight and carrying us along on all of these courses online. Thank you. And uh, where we could get them. But uh, um, this Debbie University, I don't think I completely get <laughs> everything you explained. Although I know it's, it's quite explanatory, but I would prefer you like throw uh, uh, another light again on it. Okay, let me tell you something. Don't follow my explanation. Understand me? Okay. Uh, thank God you are learning it. All you need is a link. Once I send the link to the class, click on the link. Then book, click and on any of the courses you want to take. You will see them there. You don't need to go far. Mm -hmm. Once you click on the course, they will ask you to book for that course. Book for the course. You will fill your name, fill your email, click the box that the, those boxes that are there, and that's all. And you start studying the course. When you finish, I don't think you even need to write a test. You get your certificate. And that certificate is 12 CPD. And you can actually go to University of Delhi and turn that as a certificate and use it in University of Delhi or any other university. Okay, sir. Okay. It's as simple as maybe it's sounding very simple. Maybe that's why you're thinking there are some things you've not you've not gotten. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sir. Don't Thank you so you much. Once you get the link, you understand what I'm telling you. Despite okay. Second question, sir. Sorry. Um the um uh link for our tests. So you said um when we finish our tests from through the link, then we can get our certificates for level two. Yeah, once you do your test, we'll start issuing certificates from tomorrow because we need to see those that passed. Formerly we used to give our links. We discovered that people were sharing these links for certificate and people were not being honest about it. So we stopped that. So we manually issued these certificates checking for those that have passed. However, uh, from July, we'll, our system on our side, we start issuing automated certificates where you just go take your test. And when you pass, you get your certificate. Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, um, John Ode, briefly. 
Yeah. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Yeah. I just want to appreciate you for this section. Thank and you. And having it come uh, as a bonus to um, the courses we registered for, it's something uh, we are very appreciative of. Thank you. Uh, to some of us, it's also an exposure. <laughs> we didn't know uh, there are opportunities as such. So I'll just say to uh, all, all the participants currently on the group, uh, on the chat, we all, it's a very simplified process already. I think this is my first time, but from the inception of this uh, section, everything is very simple. So let's just hold on and listen and drive with him to see where we, we are heading to um, once the links are sent. By ourselves, we try this and have our experience, and we'll be able to guide other people as well. Yeah, so you must not tell a step by step process. So, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, John Ode. I appreciate that. You see, um, you are sitting in front of Zoom and you are getting this information, and you are also learning how to go about it. I wasn't that lucky. Everything I know today, I taught myself. Yes. I use Google Drive. Google Drive that you know, I use it from level one to level nine. I taught myself. There are very few people that have gotten to level nine. I built my websites myself. And guess what? I saw this French. I never studied science or any um, technical course or whatever. I saw this French. But what I'm just trying to let you know is that as long as you can read and write, all you need is a link. Once you get that link, you go to the site. The mistake most of us make is that we go straight to do what you want to do. And the danger in that is that the moment you go to do what you want to do and you are stopped, you get confused. You can't come back because you are already inside. You don't even want to go back to where you are coming from. But usually, I advise you, once you go to a new site, Take a tour around the site. Check everywhere. Like I used to say, click anything clickable. Nobody will ask you to pay money. Yeah, there's no way they're asking you to put your credit card. So click. If it doesn't work, you go back. Within two, three days, you'll get so used to that site. Then you now know where to navigate through, how to go, where you are, what to do. If you go straight, but there are people that are very, very versatile with things. Like once they just go, they already know what they want. They just go straight to the point. But by and large, anybody can do it, no matter what. I'm giving you that 100% assurance. So don't need to stress yourself about it. It's not something we need to waste too much time about. Okay. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I want to believe that you are blessed with this information you've gotten. Uh, Man Man Mangela Gladys, let me take, because I can see the way you are sitting. Uh, before you sue me for not calling you, let me hear from you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm, I'm very happy with the explanation that you've given. Thank My heart was already is It's in line with um, the assignment that we were asked to submit. So we had not actually finished submitting the assignment in um, public health. And then the administrator wrote that it was just for the administration. And then my own has not even been submitted. I submitted one. So I'm now asking, will it not affect me if I only come to right now, but the, the test, that, the, the exam now, since part of my exam, my assignment has not been submitted? Well, um, I would just advise you to take the test. If you have the opportunity of taking the test, take the test or the exam. They're, usually, they're, they're, usually the assignment, the assignment is to help you build up in the class. Now, if we have cases where people, for one reason or the other, they couldn't do the test, maybe due to anything can happen, we fall back on your assignment. But since you are available to take your test, just take your test and make sure you pass it. Yeah, is that the class has been locked for long and there was no opportunity for us again to send in. No, don't worry about that. That's why I say don't worry about that. Okay. What you need to wait for now is a link to take the test. Okay, sir. Thank yes. you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to move ahead. Um, 
I want to find out if uh, our guest speaker is around. Let's see. Okay, he's always around. I will say, I know you can hear me. We have a recorded video, very detailed and lengthy one that we did last time. I'm going to send it to, to everybody here. But um, you will just use the next few minutes to talk about CPR and how it is being done. Uh, he's the one that also did the last one, so you will still watch his video. But it's good you have a first-hand information for him about CPR, basic life support. We are going to do something very elaborate nationwide in the next few months, one or two months from now. So get ready, and you can become truly a certified BLS, um, someone that can offer a, a basic life support during emergencies. Okay, over to you, Mr. Emmanuel. Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Mr. Emmanuel. Uh, yeah, good evening. So uh, thank you for having me. I'm Emmanuel, Dr. Emmanuel. So um, because of our time, we'll focus strictly on um, CPR as it, as it relates to emergencies. We have discovered that many people have lost their lives due to absence of uh, CPR. And even when CPR is done the wrong way, definitely, uh, it could lead to uh, or result to death. So in basic life support, CPR is very important. We call CPR, we term it cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Uh, CPR is divided into three. We have adult CPR, we have infant CPR, and we have children CPR. When we talk of CPR, when you talk of the cardio, it means the heart system. When you talk of uh, pulmonary, you're talking of the lungs, or the respiratory system. And then when you talk of resuscitation, you are talking of revival. So what you are manually doing in CPR is, you are manually doing the work the heart is supposed to do by way of compressing the chest to make the heart uh, pump in uh, oxygenated blood around the system to restart circulation. Many things could trigger people to go unconscious. And uh, when people go unconscious, two things happen. Either the unconscious breathing or the unconscious not breathing. Uh, in the video, uh, that will be sent to you, that will be explained better. But let's focus more on two major categories of cardiologists, the ones that usually go unconscious and are not breathing. They are the ones that CPR is expected to be given to. But you discover that even when people faint, uh, some people go there compressing the chest. You can't do that on uh, cardiologists who are unconscious still breathing. There's a position in the video we, um, which will be sent to you that you place them, call it, call it the recovery position. You only compress the chest of people who are unconscious and not breathing. Those are the people who you compress. But checks are being carried out uh, to check if they are breathing or not, which is uh, explained better in the video. Now, how do you give CPR? We said CPR is done at the center of the chest and it's the heel of the palm that is used in compressing uh, a casualty when the casualty is found uh, to be unconscious and not breathing. You use a heel of your palm centered at the chest and then you compress up to 30 times. Like I said earlier, the normal ratio of CPR is 32. That's 30 chest compressions and two rescue breaths. The ones some people call kiss of life or mouth to mouth respiration. How do you do that? For an adult, you use two hands to compress their chest because you're supposed to go one third depth of the chest or two inches depth of the chest. So to achieve that, an adult, you use two hands in compressing their chest. An infant, you use two fingers to compress, and a child, you use one hand to compress uh, their, their chest. If you have to compress, like I said earlier, you use the center of the chest to do that. So I don't know if it's allowed, if I should share a short video while um, describing this. Yes, go ahead. Let's go ahead. Okay. So I'll, I'll share a video that would, will explain more uh, better how CPR is being uh, carried out on uh, casualty and what happens when you give CPR to uh, casualties when they are unconscious and not breathing. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can. Okay. So when people go unconscious and are not breathing, usually the heart stops, 
uh, working at that particular point in time. And CPR is needed for that, for effective circulation to take place. Now, this is the way you position your hands when giving uh, CPR to an adult. And you compress, in one minute, you're expected to compress the heart up to 120 compressions. So it means in 20 seconds, you're supposed to go at least up to uh, 30 chest uh, compressions in 20 seconds. So it means in one second, you're supposed to hit at least up to two times to do that. And you go at this pace to get that. The best way to do that is you get a stopwatch, get a pillow. Do not use uh, a life casualty to do that. Get a pillow and then try doing that together. Now, this is what happens when you compress. When you compress this way, you make the, the heart pump in oxygenated blood round the casualties um, uh, uh, system, and then it, it, it restarts the casualties um, circulation. We always tell you, place your the heel of your pump at the center of the chest to do that. And when doing that, lock your joints while pushing your body to the casualty. That allows for good and high quality uh, uh, CPR. Another thing you should notice when you are giving CPR, always do what we call blue check. Blue check means how you check from the head to the toe, from the toe back to the head to see if the casualty will react to any of your compression. This means that at the point you are compressing the casualty, normal CPR is 32, but you might be compressing the casualty. The last one I compressed on hitting the 11 count, the guy jacked. And I have to stop and place him in a recovery position. Now you're on CPR and you're compressing and maybe hit up to five times, and the person check. Don't say, wait, it's many 25, it's many 25. No. What you are telling that casualty is I brought you out from the dead. I'm sending you back to where you are coming from. So even on one chest compression, the casualty may react. And the best way for you as a force aider to uh, know if there's a reaction is when you carry out blue check. That's you check from the head to the toe and all. If there's any reaction, you're expected to stop and place such a casualty in recovery position to aid that person to recover faster. The same way you compress is the same way you do for that of a, a child. When compressing, like we always tell you, for a child, you use one hand and go with the same pace on the chest, 30 to two. That's 30 chest compressions and two rescue breaths. Now, we always advise you, do not give direct mouth-to-mouth -mouth respiration to casualties because you might end up getting infections from them. So in first aid now, we advise you use what we call mouth guards or pocket marks to do that or ample bags to do that. If you don't get that, you can actually get, fold your hands, place it on the casualty's mouth, but close the nose at the point of entry. The reason is because if I don't close the nose and I blow in air, all the air will escape through uh, the mouth. So I advise you when blowing in air using improvised method of just your hands folding it on the casualty's mouth, close the nose and blow in. And when you blow, release immediately. The reason is because there are some casualties when you pump in that air, they want to sneeze. But if you are holding their nose constantly, they don't have energy to do that. So it's advised when you blow in air, release, and then do what usually we call the LLF. In the video um, that will be shared to you, it's better explained that the LLF means you look, you listen, and you feel. What are you looking at? You are looking if there's any chest rise on the casualty. You are, what are you listening to? You are listening if there's any oozing noise from the casualty's mouth or nose. And what are you feeling? You are feeling if there's any breath or not. Once you can get all this or you can get pulse, it means circulation has started. You have to place that casualty in recovery position. And then you are either evacuated to the nearest medical facility or you do. Now, there's something I want you to note. If you are watching this video now online, you see that this is a compression that is not going down well. Now, if you are not getting that two inches depth, this is what will, ha will be happening. The blood will not be going will not be hitting the brain. So you're, you might compress this person up to 100 or more times and nothing, no impact will be felt because blood has not been sent there. Another thing is, if you're compressing too fast, like I said, the pace is at this pace. There's a popular uh, music um, online that we hear, twerk, twerk, twerk. You can use that also to guide you in doing that. Or you go with this compression. Or you go with a, a second two compressions to that. Because if you are compressing too fast, this is what will also happen. You will not be allowing the heart to recoil, to pump in blood uh, or circulation. The blood will not be going, the heart will not be recoiling and that. And if you are not compressing very well, this is what also that will happen. So the best way to do is go on, on, on the heart, 
up to two inches depth of the heart and then go in this way on the heart to achieve achieve that. Like we said, the video every, uh, uh, that will be shared to you will explain that better. This is what you do. So for infants, like we said, you use two fingers on their chest, compressing them 30 times and giving two rescue breaths or the kiss of life, like we said. Usually infants and uh, children usually don't have uh, what we call reserved oxygen most times, depending on the kind of emergency that have landed them into an unconscious state. They might not have reserved oxygen. So I advise most times by giving CPR to uh, an infant or um, a child, you introduce five initial rescue breaths or kiss of life to them or mouth to mouth respiration to them before you give uh, 30 chest compressions and then you give two rescue breaths at the end. But if you are repeating sequence, whether a child, an adult, or um, uh, or an infant, the sequence is 30 to 2 uh, uh, ratio. Now, certain things will make you to stop CPR. One, if the person responds, you are expected to stop CPR. Two, if you are tired, if you are if you are watching, if you are hearing me now, you can just touch your heart. You can see how hard your heart is. It takes a lot of energy compressing uh, an adult. So if you are compressing and you feel you are tired, you are expected to stop and either call someone to assist you or you rest and then continue. The reason is, is because if you compress and you end up falling on this casualty, EMS or emergency services will end up coming and picking you and the casualty uh, to the hospital. And if you end up fainting on the casualty, you might not have, you may not be there to give someone who is not skilled on CPR to assist you do that. So the best way is once you feel you are tired, get someone to assist you to do that. Another thing that will make you not to maybe give CPR is one, if you go in and the environment is not allowing you to do that, that's uh, basically I support respect, culture, and tradition. So if I'm in a state and they're allowing you a particular environment, they're allowing you not to go in to give CPR and or you're expected not to do that. Rather call for uh, your country emergency number. For Nigeria, you can call uh, 112 and you reach out to your emergency number. If I'm in UK, you can call 999 and you reach out to the emergency number. If I'm in US, you can call uh, one uh, nine uh, one one, and then you reach out to the EMS um, uh, service. So whichever country you belong to or you, you are residing in, just you can a Google search can tell you your uh, emergency number. When CPR is difficult for you to do and the environment will not permit you to do that, call EMS and then they will assist you. Like we said, uh, it's just CPR we are treating today. The video will explain better. And if you have more questions, you can join more of our sessions on uh, first aid and busy life support to learn more. I'll rest now. If there are questions, uh, we'll take. Thank you. OK, thank you, Mr. Avese. I want to believe um, you've done justice to this topic. Uh, maybe you can take down your video and. Uh... OK, yes. You've done very well, even though, uh, though you have just a very short time to speak, it, uh, it did well. Please, uh, you have this video, you have other videos pre that we had before that are far, far more detailed than what you are doing now. And like I also say, this is one area you need to, you might need it in your house one day, you can never tell. You might need it somewhere in your school, in your church, in your mosque, wherever. These are things that, these are skills that um, we need to learn. I know sometimes we hear some uh, serious things that happen, like people drowning or being brought out of, and CPR cannot be administered. If only those around uh, knew about CPR, I'm sure so many lives would have been uh, saved. And let's um, just leave it at that. So uh, now that we know, I think it's an opportunity Apart from just learning how to use it and save lives, it was uh, an area that can give you a job. It can help you to also uh, start, become self-employed in whatever area you think. We'll talk about that later. This is not the time for all that. But these are skills you need to start acquiring as much as possible. It will be useful to you here in Nigeria. It will be useful, in fact, to be a big plus for you outside this country. Yes, thank you. Okay, we're just going to take two questions because 
we started late. We are squeezing everything within this hour. And thank God we are achieving so much within a very short time. Um, Daramola Abimbola, what's happening? You are not following, you are tired already. Are you following? <laughs> okay. Um, I want to take questions. Enyola Oluwale, Oluwale, Enyola. Please, let's make our questions very brief, very, very brief. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Uh, um, I so much appreciate this Zoom meeting. Thank you. I've done, um, I've gotten certificates concerning the some of the courses that you have shown us. Yes. Like the dementia, bridging dementia. And yeah. I, I'm so grateful, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank God you. bless you, sir. Thank you. Concerning the caregiver level three course. Yes, yes. I did my test yesterday, sir. Okay. But there was, I mistakenly attached plain form instead of the field supervisor's own. And yes. I tried to no attach just, the supervisor's own. Just, just retake the test and attach the supervisor's own. It did not allow me, sir. To retake the test? Not to retake, I retook the test, but to attach the supervisor's own. It said one form has been attached before. Ah, uh, okay. Anyway, yes, sir. You know what? Um, yes. Let's attend to people that don't have issues first. Okay, sir. Maybe by next week, Friday, we'll start taking complaints like this. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Um. Dubate Messi. Dubate Messi. Are you there? Hello, okay. sir. Okay. Hello, good evening, sir. Yes, good evening. Uh, in, in fact, I'm Clifford, but I'm using some of this machine. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm using my colleague's machine. Okay. Uh, thank you for everything. Thank you for the leadership. Thank you for everything. I appreciate you so much. Yes. Um, but I have a little problem here. I registered for the public health level two. Okay. But I had engagements somewhere, so I couldn't attend the classes and I have not taken the test. What can I do? You have to repeat it now. It's as simple as ABC. I'm you... not taking it at all. I've yeah. not even attended the class. You repeat the class. But don't so, worry, you don't need to pay again, but you repeat the class. When 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 next? Uh, very soon. Just keep in touch with the person that registered you. So this one is gone. Yes, yeah, there's nothing you can do. And um there's nothing you can do except you go to our site. In fact, we don't want to encourage anybody to go to the site to start reading and come and take tests because it's it starts as a lot. Until when by July you can start doing that. But for now, just wait for the next class. Wow. Okay, thank you. Yes. Um, Israel, what's your question? Please, let's, evening, ask, everyone. Okay. let's ask questions that is related to what we are doing now. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Kai, I, I really want to appreciate you for your effort. Thank you. In you know bridging the gap. Thank you. You know between education and training, sir. God Thank Almighty you. will bless you greatly and abundantly, sir. Amen. Thank you. Yes. Thank uh, my. Hello. He has been. Are you there? Courses, sir. This I can't. I I don't think I got your question. Maybe you should repeat it. Okay. I'm. Um, uh, what I'm. What I'm trying to ask is that all those courses 
with with uh, with uh, UN organization like mm. the UNICEF and yeah, then the yeah, WHO yeah. and then the Debbie Debbie University. All these courses are they certificate courses or is there a master's class uh, courses? No, they are, they are certificate courses. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir. Esther Zomimu. Good evening, sir. Good evening, madam. Mm. Okay. Um, I wrote a um, letter to exempt me from internship, but um, I didn't re receive any reply on the letter. Okay, madam. In fact, I did the test. Okay. Okay. I said I, I did the test, but while I touch it, because the, the person that's supposed to be have replaced me in the office supposed to have written a letter for me to to say my background knowledge pre previously. I wanted to snap the and I now sent the letter of um of uh, the letter of, uh, that I wrote requesting for exemption. I mistakenly sent it. So when I wanted to attach the other one, it refused. I said I have attached a form. So I don't know what uh, I'm supposed to do. Uh, Madam, we will, we will open the class tomorrow for complaint, okay. and we'll treat all the complaints by next week. Meanwhile, we want to start issuing certificates okay. for everyone first. So don't worry about okay. it. Everybody will be attended to. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Thank you. OK. OK, um, ladies and gentlemen, I think we need to call it a day so that we can go and rest. I'm tired. Let me just take uh, OK, I don't need to take any, please. Anything about the test, level two test, is quite late already. So I think we'll post that test in the morning tomorrow. Let's just go and rest for the night. You also need to rest for the night. Uh, don't be in a hurry. Don't, don't stress yourself. Don't worry. Usually, people that have done courses with us will tell you that they understand that we used to give enough time for people to take their test. We don't rush people. The most important thing is that you understand the course, you pass it, and you understand what is going on. Okay. So, by tomorrow morning, you're going to get the test link and you can start taking your test. We'll give you enough time to take your test. Thank you. God bless you. I also want to use this opportunity to thank um, Mr. Avese, our instructor that has done creditably well. When I'm sending this Zoom video, I also send a previous video he did where he did practical sessions on CPR and basic, uh, basic, basic life support. And I'm also going to send videos, um, other videos too, on uh, recorded videos on how to register with and um, Agora, WHO, UNICEF, and Debbie University. So you are going to have everything by tomorrow. So you have a full package, so you don't need to worry yourself. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you, sir. Good Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, sir. Good night. Thank you, sir. Please don't have a good day. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you so much. Good night. 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 Thank you. 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 Thank